Hello again. Welcome back to at Craftiest Yarning 572. We're doing this attractive crochet cable stitch today and we're doing it using the treble crochet stitch, also known as a triple crochet stitch and an extended version of the stitch known as the double treble crochet stitch. I will sometimes just refer to them simply as trebles and double trebles. And as always, it's left-handed crochet. So these firm, nice looking crochet cables would look great on any of your crochet pieces and they are done over sets of nine stitches this is just one set of nine stitches of course when you're doing your own cable stitch crochet project you can add more of these nine stitch cables right across and this cable stitch is a two row repeat so it just consists of two rows row one and row two that you repeat till you get the length that you want to start this cable stitch sample, let's have 22 chains. Then let's do a foundation row of treble crochet stitches. So you yarn round the hook twice. Then you insert the hook into the fifth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Catch the yarn, pull up a loop. You've got four loops on your hook. Catch the yarn. Pull through two loops, catch the yarn, pull through the next two loops, catch the yarn and pull through the remaining two loops. Okay, so you've just completed your treble crochet stitch there. You've got one loop left. So you always pull through two loops at a time and you do this three times till you have one loop left. Let's do it again. Always yarn around the hook twice before you insert the hook into the next chain stitch. Okay. Catch the yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn round hook, pull through two loops. Yarn round hook, pull through another two loops. Yarn round hook, pull through the last two loops. Okay, let's continue like that to the end of the row. At the end of the foundation row, we should have 19 treble crochet stitches all together, including that very first chain stitch. So you turn the work around and we are on row one. And if you look at this completed sample, we will work the five stitches in front of the cable. And then the cable stitches over nine stitches and then the five stitches after the cable. Okay. So for row one, we chain four, we start by chaining four. So you start every row with a chain four and that chain four serves as the first treble stitch of every row. So you don't need to work at first stitch there. Instead, you work the second stitch after that. Okay, you do a treble into the second stitch. Okay, let's do three more trebles into those next stitches. We have our five treble crochet stitches at the beginning. So now we can work the cable stitch around the front posts of the next nine treble crochets. So instead of working into the stitches at the top, we work around the fronts of these treble posts. So we're going to work the first three posts. So yarn round the hook twice and insert the hook 
front to back around the post, catch the yarn, pull up a loop, and then complete the treble as before. Catch the yarn, pull through two loops, catch the yarn, pull through another two loops, catch the yarn, pull through the remaining two loops, and we've completed a front post treble crochet. So we repeat the process around the next two treble posts. Yarn round twice, insert the hook from the front to the back, around the post, catch the yarn, pull up a loop, and complete the treble. Okay, and let's do the third stitch in exactly the same way. We miss the next three treble posts. Okay, next three treble posts, and we work the next three after that. And now we are going to do the double treble crochets around the fronts of these three. Okay, so instead of yarning around the hook two times, we yarn around the hook three times. Okay, then insert the hook, front to back, around the post, back to the front, catch the yarn, pull up a loop, catch the yarn, pull through two loops. So we continue that action of catching the yarn and pulling through two loops until we've done it a total of four times. Okay, that's the second time, the third time, and that's the fourth time. Okay, so we've completed the double crochet, double treble crochet. Okay, and we do it over the next two stitches as well in the same way, yarning around three times from front to back around the post and back to the front again, catch the yarn, pull up a loop, and then we complete that double treble crochet. Okay, let's do it over the third stitch and then we'll go back and finish off these three. We've worked the fronts of the first three trebles and the last three of this nine stitch cable pattern. So let's go back to these three middle stitches that we missed and do double treble crochets around them as well. Let's yarn round hook three times and then insert the hook front to back around that first post, catch the yarn, pull up a loop. Okay, and let's complete the double treble crochet. Catch the yarn, pull through two loops, catch the yarn, pull through another two loops catch the yarn, pull through next two loops, and then catch the yarn and pull through the last set of two loops. And let's do that again over the second post. Yarn round hook three times, insert the hook, front to back, around the post and back to the front again, catch the yarn, pull up a loop, and let's complete the double treble crochet. Okay, let's complete the third one, the third post, in exactly the same way. We've finished the cable area for this row one, so let's do treble crochets into those five remaining stitches at the end there. And remember to wind round the hook twice before doing the treble crochet into the top of the stitches. Continue like that to the end and when you get to the very last stitch do your treble crochet into the middle of that last stitch. On row two a wrong side row let's chain four. Then we do a treble stitch into the second stitch from the beginning. And let's do a further three trebles into those three stitches that follow till we get to the beginning of the cable area. We are back at the cable area, which is this area from there to there. And this time we'll work around the back posts of these nine trebles. 
So we'll be doing what's called back post treble crochet stitches. So let's work these first three stitches here. Okay, so yarn round the hook twice and then insert the hook from the back to the front, around the post to the back again, catch the yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn round hook, pull through two loops and complete the treble crochet. So we've done one back post treble crochet there. Let's do, do it again over the second stitch there. So from the back to the front, around the post to the back again, catch the yarn, pull up a loop and complete the treble crochet. Then we do the third stitch there. Okay, in the same way. So we've completed the back post treble crochet stitches over those first three stitches. We miss the next three stitches and we do double treble crochets over the next three after that. So yarn round your hook three times and then insert the hook from the back to the front around the post to the back again, catch the yarn, pull up a loop and complete your double treble crochet. And yarn round the hook three times again and let's do the second of those stitches. Okay, and then yarn round three times and let's do the third stitch. Bring the crochet hook to the front, around the post, to the back again. And then complete the double treble. Let's go back and do the middle stitches that we missed there. So yarn round the hook three times and then insert the hook from the back to the front around that first post and to the back again. Catch the yarn, pull up a loop and then complete the double treble at the back of the work there. Okay, we've done the first double treble there over that first post in the middle. Let's do the second one. Yarn round three times, insert the hook from the back to the front, around the post to the back, catch the yarn, pull up a loop and let's complete the double treble. Let's do the third stitch. Yarn round three times. And take the hook around that post to the back. Catch the yarn and complete the double treble crochet. And let's complete the row to the end like we do the, did on row one. Okay, yarn round hook twice and then insert the hook into the top of that treble and complete your treble stitch and continue like that to the end of the row remembering to do the very last treble into the middle of this of the stitch here so if you turn your work around you've done two rows of this cable pattern stitch and you repeat the two rows over and over okay and you should remember that the treble crochets are done over the first three stitches of this nine stitch area and then the double treble crochets are done over the last three stitches and the middle stitches so let's repeat row one and row two again let's go as far as the cable area so we are here at the cable area of row one so let's do our front post treble crochets over these first three treble stitches here. So yarn round hook twice and insert the hook 
from the front around the post to the front again, catch the yarn, pull up a loop and complete the treble crochet. Okay, let's do the second treble there, yarn round twice. Okay, go round and to the front again, catch the yarn and complete the treble crochet. Let's do number three. Done those first three posts. Let's miss the next three stitches, which are these here, and let's do double treble crochets into the last three. After that, remember to wind round the hook three times and then do your double trebles. That's one stitch done. Do the second one. Let's do the third one. Okay, so let's go back to those three stitches that we missed there and work them through the front. And we're doing double crochets again. Wind round three times. And okay, from the front around the post of that stitch and to the front again catch the yarn pull up a loop and complete the double treble okay that's the one first one done let's do the second one of those middle stitches wind round three times go around the post and to the front again catch the yarn pull up a loop and let's complete and then the last one grab it and pull up a loop okay so we've done row one again and let's complete the row to the end and then for row two we are repeating row two so you work those first five stitches till you get to just before the cable area and row two the wrong side row let's work the back posts of these three treble stitches here so yarn round hook twice take the hook from the back to the front around the post and catch the yarn and complete the treble crochet okay again wind round twice from the front from the back to the front around the post to the back again catch the yarn pull up a loop and we've completed the second back post treble there let's do the third one like that. Okay, we've done the first three stitches. So again, we miss those three middle stitches, and that's going to do double trebles into the back post of the next three stitches. Okay, wind round three times. Okay, and let's do a back post. First back post done there. Do the second one like that. Okay. And then let's do the third one. Okay. So that's the last three stitches done. And now let's do the middle stitches. 
let's complete these three middle stitches yarn round hook three times then take the hook from the back to the front around that first post there and to the back again attach the yarn pull up a loop okay let's complete a double treble yarn round hook pull through two loops then yarn round hook pull through the next two loops and then the next two after that and then the last two loops so we've done one of those three middle stitches let's do the second one yarn round hook three times then bring the hook from the back to the front around the post to the back again attach the yarn and let's complete the double treble let's do the third one yarn round three times okay let's do the third of those middle stitches okay we've completed the cable area of row two so you just carry on with your treble crochets to the end of the row this is what the cable crochet stitch pattern looks like after the four rows that we worked and this is what it looks like after eight rows nice attractive look so you repeat the two rows over and over till you get the length that you want thanks for watching this crochet cable stitch video please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and please subscribe to my channel at craftiestyarning572 see you next time